Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. I'm Marlos Diaz. In this video, we want to tell you about this about new, this new Vance Spark headlight. About two weeks ago, I was contacted by a representative of the Vaughn Company and asked to do this video review. They furnished four headlights, but did not pay me anything for this review. Before agreeing to do the review, I explained to the representative that I would like to discuss both the strengths and limitations that I found for the light. When I began tent camping over 50 years ago, I immediately realized that a reliable light was an essential piece of camping equipment. It allows you to find things in the dark, to perform routine camp chores such as cooking, washing dishes, and squaring the campsite away, and most importantly, it allows you to walk around at night without stepping into a hole tripping on a landscape timber or, God forbid, stepping on a snake. And when I began motorcycle camping about 25 years ago, I realized that a headlight was the most practical type of camping light you could buy. It produced a bright light wherever you looked. It allowed you to use both hands to do whatever chores you were wanting to do, and it packed into a very small space. And I also realized that you always needed to carry a backup light because you never knew when you were going to have to change your batteries in the dark, when you were going to have to try to find a misplaced headlight in the dark, or when your main headlight would break. And so I have bought and used over a dozen different headlights over the last 25 years. Petzl Tika is my has been my favorite brand, but now I'm excited to try out this new Vaunt Spark. Before proceeding, let me explain why I prefer headlights with disposable or replaceable batteries rather than rechargeable batteries. Although headlights with rechargeable batteries do not require you to buy backup batteries, they are expensive, costing $60 or more. And buying a backup in case you lose or break your main light costs you another $60. Furthermore, they require about three hours to recharge. If you wait until dark to turn on your headlight and discover the battery's dead, you have no light for the rest of the night. The other hand, headlights with disposable batteries are priced much, much lower and their batteries can be changed in less than a minute. The price of a headlight is a very important factor for me because I typically either lose my headlight or break it within a couple of years after I buy it. And this Vaunt Spark is about as low priced as you can imagine. One light plus three alkaline batteries cost $8. A box of two lights costs $9.99 and the coupon code in the discussion below can be used to reduce that price even further. While the price of a Petzl Tika with three alkaline batteries is about $30. According to its package, the Vaunt Spark weighs 45 and a half grams without the three batteries and the Tika weighs 82 grams with the three batteries. When you hold them side by side, the Vaunt Spark feels a little lighter than the Tika, but when you weigh them, they both register three ounces. When you look at the old Tika, the newer Tika, and the Vaunt, they all three appear to be roughly the same size from the front and from the top. The Spark package claims that the light is indestructible, which I hope is true, because over the past 25 years, I have broken three or four headlights by carelessly packing them. The case of the Spark headlight feels like a flexible nylon-like material, 
and the latch also feels like it's made from a flexible nylon-like material. In contrast, the Tika case and latch appear to be made from a hard plastic which clicks when you close it. The hard plastic case feels solid, but I have broken a few of them in the past. The Spark package also claims that it is waterproof, and I have seen a video in which the reviewer submerged the light in a mountain stream. Now, I don't think we'll ever submerge our light in water, but we camp in the eastern woodlands where we do get rain on almost every camping trip, and it's nice to know that the headlight will continue to function in wet and rainy conditions. When you buy a headlight, the first thing that you need to do is adjust the strap to fit your head. Now, this one fits my head right out of the box. But, in order to fit a headlight to Ava's head or to little Lalo's head, we're going to have to make it smaller. In order to adjust the headlight, you'll have to move this strap behind the light. With a Petzl light, it's very easy to move that strap. But with the Vaunt headlight, it's much tighter, and in order to move that light, you need to pull up on one end and then pull on the other end. But you only have to adjust it once, and then after that, you won't have to fool with it anymore. Like most other headlights, the Vaunt has a hinge and ratchet system that allows you to tilt the light downward. Two reasons that I can think of for wanting to tilt that light down is number one, when you're reading things up close through your bifocals, you'll need to tilt the light downward. And second, when you're speaking to another person at close range, you'll need to tilt it down so you don't blind the other person. The Spark headlight has four white light modes, low, medium, high, and strobe, and three red light modes, low, SOS, and strobe. And I also want you to show us how to turn that light on. And there's the bright light. This red light is especially nice to have if you need to get up in the middle of the night to find something in the tent and don't want to wake anyone else up, or you need to go to the bathroom. And the light has a red SOS mode, which I don't think we'll ever need, but Lalo enjoys playing with it. To change from white light to red light, or from red light back to white light, just turn the light on and then depress the on switch and hold it until the light changes color. For many years, the maximum brightness of my headlights was less than 100 lumens, and that seemed to be enough light to do most of the chores that I needed to do around the camp. But a lot of people wanted brighter lights that could see further in the distance, and so uh, modern Headlights now have become extremely bright. The Vaunt Spark produces 200 lumens on its brightest setting, but there are some lights that cost a little more than $30 that uh, produce 300 or 350 lumens. But I never felt like I needed that much light when camping. To demonstrate the differences in brightnesses between this new Vaunt spark, my old headlight, and a newer Takiya light, I put fresh alkaline batteries in all three of these headlights and then strapped them to water jugs approximately five feet away from my garage door. The Vaunt spark is on the far left. My old generation Tika is in the center and the newer generation Tika is on the right. Then I closed the garage door, turned out all of the lights, and turned them all on at 6.15 in the afternoon. 
The new Vant Spark is on the right now. My old generation Tika is in the center and the new generation Tika is on the left. You can see that the Vant Spark beam on the right is much higher than the two Tika lights and much brighter. According to the Vant package, the Spark can run for three hours on high beam and according to product description on the REI website, the old Tika 2 can run about an hour and a half on high beam. So after turning them on at 615, I thought I would come back in a couple hours to see how the light patterns compare. Here they are after two hours of burning on high beam. I'm sorry, this picture was a little blurry. And here we are after three hours. Notice that the Vaunt Spark is still quite bright on the right and that the newer generation of the Tika on the far left is also burning pretty bright. My old or older generation Tika lamp though is looking fairly dim. In reality, all I usually would need is the low beam because that's about the same as what I've been camping with for 25 years and the box claims that it will run for eight hours on low beam. Vaunt offers a lifetime warranty on this spark headlight, but to activate it, you have to register within 72 hours after opening your package. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed this little video and we hope that you've learned a little bit about this new headlight. I think Lalo really likes it. Yes. For more information about tent camping equipment, history, procedures, destination, or ethics, please visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. A link to my website is provided in the description below. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions and save money. Go tent camping.